Hello and welcome, my name is Ryan, I'm also known as RM2K Dev. Now in this tutorial we're going to be using the Swift Playground that was recently released in Xcode 6 Beta and I'm just going to show you guys how to uh, how to get uh, iOS components and views working inside of the real-time debugger thingy-majiggy on the right hand side here. So the first thing you need to do is we're just going to go to View, Utilities and click Show File Inspector. This is going to bring up the um, the file inspector on the right hand side we're going to change our platform from OS X to iOS and that's going to give us access to the to the iPhone SDK now the first thing we need to do is we need to import UI kit so I'm just going to say import UI kit that's going to give us access to the UI kit library so in order to get um, components working in the real-time inspector on the right hand side we we need to add a view so the first thing I'm going to do is say var v it's going to equal a UI view and that's going to require some parameters uh, and they are going to be well, it's not going to give me the intelligent editor but it's uh, CG make rec, sorry, rect make that's going to be our X position is 0 Y position is 0 I'm going to give it 200 wide and 200 high I'm going to close those two off there ah I spelled the UI view wrong there we go that needs to be frame there we go that's going to set us up a UI view in the following uh, with the following settings uh, starting at position 00, zero ending at position 200, 200. And you can see that here in the uh, timeline playground real time inspector on the right hand side in order to bring this up if we close all this off all we need to do is click the little plus button here and that's going to go and show us the history of the value now right now there's nothing there obviously because we haven't done anything so let's start by adding some components to that so I'm just going to create a button I'm going to say var b for button equals ui button that's also going to take a frame so I'm going to make a cg rect make and this button is going to be at position 0, 0 it's going to be 100 uh, wide and I'm going to make it 32 tall now that we have a reference to the button I'm going to set up some default uh, parameters so the first parameter is going to be the uh, set titles the title of this button is going to be Ryan's test button and the state is going to be UI control state and we're going to use just the normal the normal state for this label the next thing we need to do is set the color so I'm just going to say b dot set title color that's going to be a type of UI color and I'm just going to use the blue color for this and the state again is going to be UI control state Oops, control state dot normal so this will create us our button and it's just gonna have uh, some text and the state is only going to be in the regular normal state so we're not handling pressed events and things like that the final thing we need to do like uh, normal is we just add the button to the view so we just say view dot add sub view and I'm gonna add the button to that and then at the bottom of this I'm just gonna say V and what this is gonna do when it finishes compiling uh, it, it does take a little bit of time. I am using an older MacBook, so it might take some time for it to compile. Oops, it did just compile and then I got rid of it. <coughs> anyway, once it's compiled, you'll get the UI view at the bottom here. And if you click the little I, you'll see the button that we just created. And if you click the little plus, it will add that to a view. Now, obviously, my text is too long for the width of the button, so I'm just going to get rid of some of that. And we'll wait for it to update does take a second to update like I said my MacBook is quite slow but this is basically how you use UI kit inside of uh, the playground so thank you guys for watching uh, like this video please share it around online uh, and also subscribe to my YouTube channel bye